you want to store it in a cool, reasonably dry place. If you let it be out in a lot of humidity, it'll start to eat itself. Okay. It actually will eat the, the polyweave bags that it comes in, or eat the bag. The bag will fall apart on you. It's that live, you know. Um, if you store it sealed up in the heat, it'll go dormant. But we've found that if you bring it back out, give it a little bit of moisture and air, it comes right back to life. Older stuff will be all white because there are probably, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I know the name of the bacteria. It begins with an A. An a. Um, there's a certain bacteria that, that will dominate and give it, give it that white color. But it doesn't matter. It still works the same. We haven't found any difference in one-year-old or three-year-old stuff. You know, store it properly. Um, anyway, this is potting soil. We're going to use it. Um, what's the time check? Somebody got an easy access to time? I can check my cell yep. phone. But. It is 1240. Okay, so maybe we should do lunch. Then you probably try place. One, then you know, you know, yeah. I mean, sure, you know what? Go to some pot growing site and I'll tell you exactly what you need. Yeah. You know, I'm scared to even go to those sites. <laughs> Do it from a public computer. There you go. go to a poppy house, rent a computer, right. and go to a pot growing right. site. I'm sure that happens all the time. Right? Some place like fifth season. Yeah, they'll tell you. Yeah. Well, that's true. The first thing. All right, we have hard to get What kind of service do you I don't know. We got them from useful got plants. An email, and I didn't get the email. And I don't know. We got them. We got them out. Yeah, Earth. Me too. I didn't get the email. Yeah. Yeah. No, it didn't go out. Yeah. Um, she well, done. Didn't. We talked to her, but it worked out. The nursery man, our neighborhood got some. What's interesting is we had six people scheduled, and obviously they didn't all come. Uh, people with the regular up standard the one, but yeah. you said just cut them off and they'll cop us. Chuck, tell you that. Baker's method and I'd worked at right at um professional bakeries, but they just had a recipe written out that we used, you know. They, I didn't figure it out, it was just all written out. You know, right. we weighed everything, but I didn't do the baker's percentage. And we were talking about absorption. She said, Well, that's why baker's percentage is so good. I knew what she meant, but I just kept talking about what I was talking about. She said it about three times. I realized afterwards I had to say, Jen, you know, I know what baker's percentage is, and I know it's the best way, it's just not how I learned to do it. You know. And indeed, I've taught classes where people well, you have to weigh or you won't be That's all right. Yeah. And I think it was like $46 or something like that for um, 48 foot. Is that 48 foot we got here? Yeah. Well, we, no, we got two of them. Okay. But so we have we have enough to do 24 square feet. 48 feet was good for 12 square feet right. area. And this is enough for 24, which this should be about 24 feet here, right? This is what, 8 by 3? 24. Yes. 24 square feet. So it's pretty exact, you know? Okay. Yeah. We actually cut this table down. It was too big and we cut it down. Yeah. To, okay. To it, you know? um, so, so, yeah, it has, it has directions here. I mean, you see, you don't want to cross it over itself because it overheats and it'll melt through. That's the critical thing. So you just want to um, spread it out. And first, we're going to put the gravel down to keep the hot wire from being in contact with the plastic. So. The thing that I've discovered though, Grim, is if you put, the, it's hard to get the staples through the gravel. I guess you can move it out of the way. But I like to put the this down. I don't put the staples very deep and then I shove the gravel under the wires. Yeah. We can try it both ways and see. Okay, let's, okay? Put, let's throw the gravel down first. Okay. We'll get some gravel right there. See how it works. Might take another couple of put about a, how much gravel? Just one layer? Just an inch, yeah. And then you top it over with gravel too. <laughs> By the way. Okay, so you warm, you warm in the gravel with moisture. Um, I gave this this presentation. I know you're using the bed. Yeah, yeah, I got a hernia. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is get a hernia and it's easy to remember to do that. <laughs> yes, lift with your legs, not your back. Um, I gave this presentation at the Southern Sod Conference in New Orleans. We need a couple more buckets. And um, at the Southern Witch Conference? Southern Sustainable Agriculture Working Group okay. Conference. And somebody in my class said, make sure you use the gravel. I put my wires on a wooden shelf and burn my house down. That's pretty bad for GM. Big 
ATM did that with the last uh, collection card they had. Yeah. That was a force tape back too, right? Need more than one more? One more, do you? That, that's probably good for underneath. Okay. One more on top. Okay. 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 So yeah, this stuff has a built-in thermostat, which will wire a thermostat for the germination chamber over there, which if you get the non-thermostatically controlled heat tape, you'd use the same procedure on that. So it looks like the thermostat's in the middle. Safe for spacing here. And this is 48 feet, so it's going to go back and forth six times, I guess, huh? This is eight foot long? Six times. Six so times, so we got to. Mm, that's probably too short. I think these will work better. Making some out of this. The wire you got me. It doesn't take that many. They could be a little shorter than that. They're, They're still shorter. making them. Yeah. All right. You're having to fold them over. I'm just having to put them in at a steep angle. If you'll hand me one back. That's the perfect. They could be probably two thirds that long. Probably. Try. Snipper, you could just snip them off. Yeah, we can put them in at an angle. So. You can snip them off. Snip them off. I think we'll figure on this is going to go halfway, so I'm just going to put this about halfway. Yeah, and you have to go at an angle so it kind of doesn't stick up too much. Is it coming back? Yeah, this one. So, should this be more well, over here so back. you have room for two well, more? We got, or we got another whole one of these to put over there. Oh. This one should cover half the table. We're oh, okay. going to go, we're going to loop directly yeah, back? Yeah, just come directly back. Right, right. Well, what oh, space are we going to do? I'd say a couple inches probably. Okay. Just like this much? Yeah. yeah. Tables, put the tape, make the table connection on ground fault. Oh, yeah, it's always good to put your outside stuff on ground fault. But I don't think you need, you need anything special here. All right, let me help you. Good enough? Yeah. Good. So it needs to be this close together to get the, the Yeah, warm. to get an even heat. Right. Okay. Then we got another one to do that, right? Yeah, we got another one just like that. On the other side. Okay. Okay. 
see, what this will mean for us is we will not turn our heat up when we start our tomatoes and peppers until we have more flask than can fit in this table. So that'll save us a whole lot of wood. Mm -hmm. you know? We're using electricity though. Um, but not very much. We're using fuel for your other things <coughs> too. So. Yeah. Yep. But you heat the greenhouse with wood? We heat the greenhouse with wood, yeah. Try this this way. So not all seeds need this one treatment. None of them need it. They just do better with spiders. Yeah, yeah. But all these that you did. Oh, we them all out. It's not like you can't. You don't. Know, What's the, the minimum the space that they have to be apart? The dome is back. A couple the inches. Will really help you get the stuff better. You know, get the even get heat. Tomatoes and peppers to do well. You know? The germination chamber is. I was thinking about taking, I've got a water bed here. I was thinking about making You could use that. Water, water bed here. Making Perfect. a bladder for it and putting it on a bladder. Yeah. And then putting the trays yeah. over the bladder. Yeah, that would work. I, I've used the water bed heater. Have you? Have they work? Yeah. I know. <laughs> what, is it still in your water bed? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> it's just one of those Tyser pack rat things that... Uh, from a yeah, from a previous lifetime, that's right. It's like, this has got to be useful. No, that's, e no, that's exactly the reason I kept it, though. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to um, put these together right here, so... Just start here. You want to just start, mm -hmm. and we'll run them side by side this time. And, yeah. Well, you can run this one back the other way. Well, you could do if them we, side if by we side. If we kind of ran them side by side, yeah, then we could go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be fine. Either way. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a pen. Maybe if you'll take this one and kind of stretch that one down that way. Oops, excuse me, sir. So there's also cables you can get that you use your own thermostat and indeed if you have a hard time finding cables you can go to Lowe's and ask them to order ice melt cables for you. Is that basically what these are? Ice melt